Very nice. Now, are we at the house or are we in the town? Because if we're at the house, things are about to get spicy. Oh, it might be actually boarded up, though. Yeah, this has to be the house. Probably a very emo- Oh, yeah, yeah, alright. Definitely a rundown place. Probably an emotional time. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. <laughs> From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. And didn't you say, like, no electricity? You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Interesting. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Her being Alice, the mother, right? We could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Oh, baby. <laughs> she likes to do it. I mean, she likes to get it done. She's a... After you. Enough said. <laughs> All right. So there could be a few things that, you know. Oh, yeah. A few things to interact with outside here before we go in. Like, what the hell is this? A sandbox? Oh, my God. Hey, you remember that? Come on, that is a sandbox, right? It's freezing out here. Yeah, it's a sandbox. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. All right, all right, all right. I know you might be cold. Let's go inside this uh, this place here. I, I mean, oh, the uh, creepy. Let's see. Window? Maybe we look at the window first. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. <laughs> all right. I, I don't... Is it unlocked? Okay, no, I didn't think so. Even in Alaska, locked. they lock their doors. Well, it's a good thing I remember this. You sure that's the right key? Uh oh Yes. See, the window was a viable see, option. Change the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? The window! Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. <laughs> At least one of them's gotta work. Okay. They might leave their doors unlocked in Canada, but they still, you know, lock their doors in Alaska. Let's open this. I could break a window. No, 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 no. no. Let's just open it. Don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. All right, the fact that the window is locked, I mean, this place is Crafty secure. Crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember <laughs> all the other characters? The Moon Hag, the Ice King, the Old Bear. Most of them, I think. 
but the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. Locked as well? Think about what might be living inside it, though. Why is there a ladder well, right there? Better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Oh, is this... Let's deal with that later. What is this? Plenty else to do first. These look like toads. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Okay, Allison. Let's not, like, push me into the, the creepy little toads. What about this door? Is it unlocked? Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. Is there a window to the shed? There is a window to the shed. But please don't jump scare me. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. What was she doing out here that night? Ooh. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or, well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Mary Ann wanted stuff like that to last. Mary Ann, is that the name of the mother? Weed Homemade killer? cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I really want to, like, know the story on, like, this, the, the mother. She, she was in the shed, I guess, that night. What is this? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? Ah! And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Don't hurt yourself, Tyler. Tyler? If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So Tyler? we need something to pry it off. There we go. That looks like Splinter City. It screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Okay, we know where a screwdriver is. We saw the screwdriver in the I shed. I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Well, we did, but I don't think we have a way to get in. Right? Because I don't think this is... Yeah, that's... That's not doable. This is certainly not doable, right? We've already been through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's locked, all right. And then I don't think we tried the window, but I don't. I don't think the window is an option. Yeah, the window is not an option to open. Right, so we'll we'll continue around. <clears throat> I wish I could zoom out just a little bit, little bit. Let's actually go down to the pier, maybe. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is lovely. I love that. Okay, so the dialogue cuts out. Um, inconveniently, I would say. Unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess we could technically walk on that lake since it's you all really frozen. Go out there? Oh. No, you're right. Apparently, I do not want to go out there. That's fine. Let's go up to... Uh, yeah, let's go up to the house here and see if any of these doors are open or maybe the locks are changed or not the same as the front door. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. It's very locked. Yep. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> Honeydew? Nope. Oh. Ooh. This is getting a little creepy, though. Open the, the, the window or sliding glass door, please. Yeah. Is this like his mom or the mom's uh, bedroom, maybe? Can we look through? It's very dark in there. Okay. What about this? A snow shovel? Does she have anything to say about what's going on, like, right now? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. What is this? At least, we don't see At least we don't have any use for this right now. Okay, no snow shovel. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? <laughs> Marianne had us digging for hours. Turned it into a game? She wouldn't call for help. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. That'd be so I fun. Handed to her. She could make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. 
So I don't know if this is the mother or not, but Marianne. We just got to keep in, you know. Got to remember, this is Marianne we're talking about here. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Okay. So any tools that would be, you know. Any tools would be grateful right now. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, ah. we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? What about that? That's like a little rake, right? Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. What? What? How do you... Mistaken that? Hey, I think that's the same... Oops. Aw, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's go back to the shed. Maybe we can, uh, I guess, find a way into the shed. I don't think she checked to see if the shed was even open. At least the shed's still standing. Nope. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. This will work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? What? What? Uh, hold focus on your bond. Oh my god. What is this? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? Dang. I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. Dude, could you imagine in real life if that and, happened? And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's if weird. you could be with someone and, like, replay memories, oh my god. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Oh, In oh. The barn. Yeah, me too. Near the barn? Oh, and maybe this is showing us where we hid the key. Follow the memory. Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No. I want to see. Okay. Oh. The toads? I guess we know where to search now. I just have to remember which one is the silent frog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there's three different frogs here. I totally so, didn't even notice that they were different. Which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Let's see. The silent frog would probably be the one in the middle. Damn. Where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. You love it. All right. Nice job. Keep Great job. Secret, buddy. Now, I don't know if that's just luck or um, if it's like always the first frog. All right, let's go ahead and get inside. Ah, here we go. Go ahead and grab the screwdriver that we actually need. Or the wood pallet outside. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? What else is this? Like, what is that? Huh. Oh, is that bird feed? Here. It looks brand new. It wasn't me. 
think it's bird feed. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pry open this weird under porch dungeon. Come on, that's what the that's what the goblins would say. Great job. You sure you want to go in there? No. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? He's actually in there? Everything okay down there? Tyler? He's gonna scare her. <gasps> oh, that's not funny! <laughs> Come and on. why am I laughing? Come on. Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. I'll see you at the front door? Oh. Where does this actually take us? Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, let's crouch. And go forward. Ouch. Watch your head. Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. How can you hear me? But I can hear you in my head. What? Our voice. It's back. That's crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I think so. <gasps> Drive a truck. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. But wait, there's a toy truck. Can I get in the toy truck? What if I go right, though? Is it just a dead end? I'm gonna go right. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Oh, there's, like, weird stuff, though. What's this say? I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Oh, it's like their little Olympic event? Okay. I see you. Ah, oh, the goblins! Again after the goblins. Oh, hang on a sec, guys. I was expecting a phone call. I'll be right back. As we will, uh, yeah, I'll be right back to get the phone call real quick. Just give me a sec. All right, yeah, crazy, crazy news. All right, all right, all right. All right, so our objective right now is to. Head through the hatch. We can do that. We can do that for sure. This must be a collectible, right? This has to be a collectible. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Turn him around? Okay. Turn him back around. <laughs> Just put him down. Just put him down. It's fine. There we go. <clears throat> All right, what else we got here? We got We got to find the hatch. I wonder if there's a collectible nope. under this house. It was on the right. My bad. Oh. Goblin den treasure. What does it say? Treasure room. Okay. Ah, oh, what is this? This has to be the treasure room. Or tea party? Wait. That was our treasure. It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Another man's trash is could be another man's treasure. In this case, it's your own trash. That's your own treasure, which your treasure could be trash. Let's look at pink. it. It always had to be pink. <laughs> Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. That's real dishes? I thought that would have been like toy dishes. No, that has to be toy dishes. That, that can't be real dishes. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. She loves her kite, doesn't she? I feel like she'd be the type of girl that would uh, go out on a kite very, very often. She seems like a good kite thrower. All right, let's back up here. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I oh. almost convinced myself our voice 
was just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Beware of the mad hunter. <laughs> ay ay ay. <laughs> I don't know why I find that. Well, I do know why I find that funny, but disregard. So is the hatch. Ah, there it is. He's in the house. I mean, memories, right? Here it is. We're just reminiscing. Tyler. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. <laughs> Hey, Jackson. How do we get started? How are you doing? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and... On this Thursday evening. See what else this house might be trying to show us. Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Ah, oh, shit. Tonight's trash night. All right. Let's look through this house here. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad everything's going good. Wow. Having a good week? It doesn't seem real. Look All at the right. dryer. See. Broken shelf. Broken char. And the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. They are energy I hogs, though. Trophy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to keep a friend calm? Really? What's going on? Alright, let's see here. Machine repair. Sam K555. Probably irrelevant. Um, Robert Brooks and uh, Tessa? Question mark? Cleaning or an exorcist it is a little strange, right? Wow, the wallpaper? You would always think it's like Christmas or something. What's this? We should take down the creepy masks. I agree. don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic? Pretended to be a warrior? Are these authentic masks? Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. He's just overwhelmed. A lot of big changes in his life. Hopefully, it's big changes in a good, positive way and not a negative way. But at least he has someone there to go to like you to, you know, let him know everything is, uh, is going to be okay for the most part. At least, you know, good vibes, right? He's moving out for the first time and getting married. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, if he's moving out for the first time and getting married, I mean, that's two big things. But, like, yeah, that could be, um, plus some work stress he doesn't do, deal with. That could be, you know, a very, uh, I mean, getting married is, first of all, a stressful thing in its own. That was a day I could not sleep for, like, actually two days I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep or eat. Wow. Um, I forgot all but moving out, it's not too bad, as long as you have a plan, right? You have a plan and a budget. Like we were 
lab rats. As long as he has a plan, everything should be fine. Everything should be fine. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. But everyone says, like, once you move out, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's huge. It's weird. It's freedom. I remember when I moved out for the first time, like, six or seven years ago. Um, I think when it hit first was when I put stuff that I bought at the grocery store into my refrigerator for the first time. That's when it really hit. I was like, whoa. <laughs> How did taxes turn out? Great. Yeah. Everything all good. Everything all good. Yeah. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Dude, handmade soap is like one of my favorite soaps. The entire house. And I say that singular. I mean like handmade soap in general is... I love handmade, ha handmade soap. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. <laughs> Oh, look at this. You got an actual... Dude, we actually used to do this, except we didn't do this as kids. We didn't do it on the wall. We would do it on the inside of the door frame. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Right. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. We, I mean, did it end in a tie because that's how we wanted it? Or did we end in a tie because that's how the character models uh, are made? They're made at the same height. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything Wait, what? to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Barter with the clothes? Really? Ah, oh, look at this. Best mom. You think we ever really believe that? Or are uh, we just trying to make her happy? That's a Either little way, awkward. it wasn't true. Yeah. What is this? Sponsored? Sponsorized by the local goblins? That's funny. Yeah, I, I would like to open this up. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. In, ooh, yeah. Not when we broke them. I love fixing things. I wish she fixed herself. Ooh. She didn't like fixing things when we broke broken. them. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Everybody has this drawer in their house, I feel like. Like, we have a drawer like this in our house. It's called the junk drawer, which is... <laughs> Honestly, probably the worst thing to call it, considering it's very useful, uh, useful utilities in there. But what else are you going to call it, right? Oh. Nut, mint, and flex? Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi's store. Have you ever mint and yeah. your nut? You'd slide mint the quarters your inside <laughs> on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Sunny and mountains, okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that wallpaper. After That's a nice looking wallpaper. I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Thanks for exposing us. <laughs> the junk drawer. <laughs> 2005. Of course. So March 25th, 2005, she wanted to fix the window. But March 7th looks like, wow, it's actually March in real life. Uh, March 7th, she wanted a date or what is this? Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Somebody's birthday? Oh. What? March 7th. Boyfriend? Oh. What is it? I owe you for 10 birthdays? Oh, was it his birthday? Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. Oh, her I birthdays. Think we can let that slide. I mean it. I mean it. Hey, you being back is the only gift I need. He called you crying, really? Even though like, even though like all these great things are happening to him, he, he he's still really upset about it. I'm fixing to call him back to see if he's okay. Do it. Call him back and let me know how it goes. <laughs> I'm curious now. Turn over the calendar, please. What happened in February? 
Oh. February. Sarah. 4 p.m. Canceled. Okay. Miss Doyle. 11 a.m. Canceled. Kind of looks like our house. The last uh, Rosa. 3 p.m. The few last few months. All blank. Only a few appointments. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh, yeah. She did that for a while. He's overwhelmed and emotionally drained. I can see being overwhelmed and, like, stressed out, but, like, come on now. You got, he's got good things going on, though. He's got great things going on. Turn it over to the January. We love you, Mom? What? What does that say? I don't know. Can we go any further back? Well, I don't think there's going to be anything past March, right? Because, you know, bad stuff happened. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. What is this? Is that graph paper? Looks like a bunch of coupons, maybe? Some graph paper? He's just super nervous about the move and is going to miss, her, miss his sister. Every penny. So, like, how far is he moving away? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that is coupons, by the way. Like, is he moving, like, in the same town? Is he moving, like, cross state, cross country? Like, if it's a big move, then I understand. That's probably huge. That's probably stressful. <laughs> ah, what is this? Read. Uh-oh. Hey, Mom. We are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time, we will try and use good judgment mint. Good judgment? <laughs> Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry, too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. So they broke a vase or a vase. I'm sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. What are you reading? That couldn't have like made her like go crazy, right? Our apology letter. A letter we wrote her to apologize for breaking that stupid vase. Remember? Or your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. It's only 15 minutes away, but his schedule is so tight that he won't have time to go see them except about twice a month? Really? Well, at least it's not, like, hours and hours away. I mean, or, you know, completely across the country. At least it's, you know, a good 15-minute drive. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? How old is he? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were, in a way, cool when she came over. Do you think we were gifted? What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. Juno or Seattle? Hmm. He's all, he's gonna be turning 20, so he's 19. Good lord. I didn't get married till I, how old was I when I got married? 23? 23? Maybe? I got married the day after my birthday, so I think I was 23. Uh, I don't remember these. That was a few years ago, though. Unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe I like they the were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. I'm an old fart, though? How dare you. <laughs> ah, look at this. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. We actually have Danielle taking Polaroid pictures in our house, but it's mainly for guinea pigs. <laughs> Not for special moments yet. It made her happy. And it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. <laughs> you okay? All these happy pictures. I have the demeanor so and mobility of an now. old person, though. <laughs> so staged. I like that, though. I know. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. 
I mean, hey, if you want to keep some, I, I, you know, we're going to be selling this house anyways. Might as well take some down. Especially the style of a grandpa. You can't argue that, though. <laughs> I would like to see what shoes you actually wear, too. 